Kalkov Bridge is a, a, an old, old engineering technology that's been proven to work. You know, it's proven for 200 years, some more. We've neglected them, they still kept working. The craft of traditional wooden bridge building might have been lost altogether if not for one family of modern bridge rights. Mostly just doing what I like to do, I think. Like his father before him, Arnold Graydon builds and restores covered bridges using authentic 19th century building techniques. The Graydon name goes back quite some years as far as covered bridge restoration is concerned. Milton Graydon and his son Arnold were deeply involved in the restoration of a number of covered bridges scattered across the, not only New England, but other states in the United States. Arnold Grayton kind of picked up the gauntlet that his father had started. The Graytons have a, a, an excellent reputation in covered bridge rehabilitation. He's a modest fellow. He wouldn't say he was a master. In fact, I've heard him say many times, I wish I knew as much as my dad did. Well, I think he does. It's said that Milton Grayton reinvented the profession of bridge right and then became a tireless promoter of covered bridge preservation. Starting from the late 60s, early 70s, somewhere in that area, a lot of repairs which were made, were made which probably shouldn't have been made in the way they were. And uh, Milton was one of the guys who saw this, didn't like it, figured there was a better way of doing it simply by exploiting the technology that had produced the bridge in the first place. And of course, Arnold has followed in that tradition. I think that if you're saving an old structure, like a covered bridge, then it's just as important to save that methodology of building the structure so that you have a, a more complete history. For that reason, I think it's important to show the future generations how it was done and can still be done. Arnold Graydon works with thick, solid beams instead of modern laminated wood and oak tree nails known as trunnels. A uh, trunnel is just a big old nail, but it's made of wood. And that makes the connection between all the lattice and cords. The trunnel is more effective than a bolt because of the size of it. It gets a more barren area against the wood. Modern tools are put into play reluctantly. The truss will be raised slowly using gin poles and manpower, perhaps even employing the brute strength of oxen. And they're part of history, you know. It's the way the, they would have done it 200 years ago. Working traditionally, Grayton has constructed some 14 new covered bridges and restored about 70 more. But there may be no wooden span more important to this master bridge right than the handsome Squam River Bridge in Ashland, New Hampshire. It was the last one my dad really was able to do much of anything on. So for that reason, that and being a hometown, and it's, it's a little different. Squam River is the last covered bridge father and son worked on together. <laughs>